We are following the latest fallout from IMPD's budget crisis and the inability of the department to supply officers with the basic tools of the job. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Connor. I'm Erica Fly. The budget crisis has become so fierce, officers are now having to pay for their own equipment. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt has followed the budget crisis, and he has more. The taser, an essential item on any police officer's tool belt, and using one can protect the officer while minimizing the risk of injury or death to the suspect. Yet replacement batteries costing from $50 to $100 have become so scarce, the department has invited officers to buy their own replacements. What we have to do is recognize that in, in, in diminishing times and resources, we have to prioritize, and that's at the top of the list. Two months ago, Metro Police cited budget constraints and notified officers that they would have to buy their own ammunition to train with and to use backup weapons while on duty. That's a priority again. We're on top of that as well. There has to be a, a list, listing of priority items in, in any police department, and that was at the, at, the, at the apex of the process. The police department hasn't purchased a new car in the past two years, and IMPD has come another accident closer to putting two officers in one vehicle to deal with the shortage. Protective body armor for some officers has gone past the expiration date. The department says it has more on order. And the department's license plate reader cars, with its micro camera technology to help fight the stolen vehicle problems, haven't moved in more than two months. The department failed to renew the software license. There's some glitches in the system. We're looking at what makes sense in terms of repairs and whether or not what needs to be replaced in that. Uh, it was a great idea at the time in terms of bringing it on board, but we had to make it user friendly with our current software we had. Now, Metro Police officers are going without essential tools to not only make their jobs easier, but also to make them more effective. And as bad as the budget crisis looks this year, the administration says that 2013 looks even worse. Live in the newsroom, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6.